ask forgiveness. I initially thought it was a female leopard, but it's actually a young male leopard now that I've had a good look at him. And he is called Tamba, and he was born in July of 2016. So still a young animal. They're only really considered adult at about two and a half years, and he only will he'll be a, he'll be considered a, a dominant male at around about five to seven years old. So still a youngster in terms of leopard uh, and leopard years and we hope to see him for many months going forward. He still looks very uncomfortable. He's not going to come out of this tree because these lions are close by. He's going to have to at some point and in my opinion it's best best to do it while it is still hot and these lazy cats are busy sleeping next door to him. Right now he's giving us a beautiful view of himself in this tree. He couldn't have picked a better spot for us and definitely for one of the rarest of the African cats in terms of sighting. Now Grace, you'd like to know which one weighs more, cheetahs or leopards, and funny enough Grace, they weigh about the same. So a big, a big male leopard, well a big male leopard might weigh a little bit more if he's exceptionally big, but around a, a big male leopard is around about 60 to 80 kilograms and a big male cheetah is around about 60 to 80 kilograms with the leopard pipping the cheetah at the post when it comes down to the scales. They can pack on a little bit more weight, they're a little bit more muscular. Uh, and the same goes for the females. The females are anywhere from about, female leopard, anywhere from about 35 kilograms to about 50 kilograms. Or 60 kilograms at the heaviest, with cheetahs exactly the same, with the leopard females just pipping the, the post again. Mainly because they can put on extra muscle, depending on the food that they eat. Let's have a look at how he's balancing on that branch. And think for yourself, for those of you who have ever stood on a gymnastics beam, you'll know how difficult it is to do. This leopard is doing it nonchalantly and with four more or two more appendages. Now, Angel, you'd like to know if leopards spend a lot of time in trees or only to escape predators. Angel, they do spend a lot of time in trees. They spend time in trees to, uh, to escape flies. They spend time in trees to get into the cool breeze um, uh, when there's no breeze on the, on the forest or the, the savanna floor. And then they spend time in trees when they have kills in trees. So they put their kills in trees to get them off of the ground and away from hyena and they spend time in trees getting away from predators like you're seeing them doing now. And when they're young like this, they just spend time in trees because climbing trees is fun. So they also spend a lot, they spend a lot of time in trees. I don't think the majority of their day, I think the majority of their day is, is still spent walking around on the forest floor. But when they do jump into trees, you get this view that you've got here now. That sort of quintessential African portrait of a leopard in a tree, and I say quite a rare thing to see. And leopard occur outside of national parks. Uh, lion, funnily enough, are rarer to see than cheetah, but they're not commonly seen. They're very elusive, so they're rare to see as a sighting because they're very secretive, elusive cats. Uh, was one of the few places in the world to see them uh, in the daylight, and like we are doing from so close and basically without having an effect on this cat, being right where we are now in the Kruger Park in South Africa, right at the bottom of the African continent. All right, it's come to that time of the show where I have to say goodbye to all of you from the schools that have joined us today. I just want to say thank you very, very much, and I'm so, so happy that we got to show you the wide variety of cats that we did, which is truly amazing. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you again next time.